My name is Mark Olfers. I'm a consultant with uh, Resource Group 175. Uh, our home base is out of New York City. Uh, and we work with international schools around the world. My first experience with the American Embassy School was one of really recognizing that they, they have a really honest and, and authentic sense of, of wanting to be a, a high performing team and then actually living it in that certain experience. In my, in my estimation, and I think the way many of us have viewed governance across international schools for our many years in working with boards is that there's no single more important service to a community than in the education and the development of youth. And so as a board member, it, it, it begins there. It's that commitment that, that you want to get involved with the AES board uh, and community in this way in support of youth. And that means that, that you know the school mission. You know that, that this is all about the, the joyful pursuit of excellence, of, of teaching and learning. It's very much about the, the fact that this is a school that more than, by the way, more than most schools around the world celebrates diversity, equity, and inclusion. And, you know, if you if you're going to put it up on the wall, then as a board member and as a senior leadership team, you've got to work together to make sure you're truly living uh, the tenets of the mission, the core values, and clearly the, commit, the school's commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. When you're out in the wider community, you're an ambassador for the school. And as an ambassador, you're, you're offering the commentary, the observations, and the perspectives of all the goodness of the school, knowing that no school is perfect, knowing that, that indeed, if, if, uh, if AAS is truly living uh, their, uh, their, their tenets or their principles of the insatiable appetite for improvement, then sure, you know that, the, that there's work to be done, but by the same token, as a, as a governor, as a trustee, as a board member, you are committed to the idea that you're first an ambassador out there in the wider community. And then when sitting with the board, you're clearly a, a problem solver. You're somebody who digs in uh, in a collaborative spirit to, to not only a, define problems and issues, but to get about the business of fixing them as quickly as possible, whether they be uh, tactical or strategic, because it's the time that's well spent always in, com in, the, in the service of young people that makes it so rewarding and for that matter, fun. And that gets me to my last point is don't be part of the AES, AES board unless you also wanna be somebody who, again, uh, connects and commits to the relationships that are involved, that are, that are inevitable. That by the way, won't always, not every day is gonna be a diamond, okay? So the idea being, of course, to, to commit to the fact that we'll find our way together um, and we give each other the benefit of the doubt. We celebrate the victories uh, and the goodness of the school. And, and out of that comes, I think, such reward and such enjoyment. And again, that joyful pursuit of excellence. My name is Jitu Balakrishnan. Uh, I'm a parent of a 12th grader. My daughter Ananya has been at the school since she was in first grade. So she's going to go right through elementary, middle and high. Uh, I've been on the board for, this is my third year on the board in my second term. If you're thinking of running for the board, the first thing that I would ask is, why are you doing it? I would say that uh, what I have seen makes a successful uh, board member, a uh, one who's able to uh, be a part of the whole and contribute to the fairly co complex discussions and uh, the decisions that we have to make, is someone who can think about the entirety of the school and not just one particular part of the agenda. Then we have a, a difference in thoughts and styles and uh, perspectives. This is where we're able to get deep into the issues uh, that affect the school for a long time to come. Uh, it really does uh, pay to have that diversity of thought, the diversity of experience. Uh, people who've run on uh, served on boards elsewhere, people who've never served on boards, people who've moved around all over the world. Each of these experiences, the part that makes us who we are, I think that's pretty much what is important when you're looking at running for the board. And nobody comes in uh, being perfect at it, and we're all learning all the time. So I, I'd say it's 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 a journey that we, and it's it's certainly helped me a lot even in my life outside the board to take those exact experiences and translate them to what I do even at home. It's very rewarding in terms of uh, being able to see uh, the impact that it has on the school and um, we'll have a good time. Hi, I'm Corby. Um, I have lived in Delhi for 
um, almost four years. I was inspired to run for the board the very first year we arrived in Delhi um, and have served on the board for three years last year and this year being the president. Running for the board is a great way to volunteer um, and show service and exemplify the service that we like to see um, in our students as, they, as they're as they in the school and as they think about what they're gonna do when they leave the school. Being a part of the governance structure of AES is a time commitment certainly, but it's a great time commitment you'll realize that your devotion spurs you on to spend the time that is needed to really uncover the issues that face board members um, and um, get, get to the right answers and, and get to the best solutions to promote um, the joyful pursuit of excellence. One of the special things about the American Embassy School is that it is an entirely elected board from the parents of our school. And I think that gives it a very special community quality. And you have to put on your board member hat um, and realize that you are a representative for all parents and all children. And that your main cause for being is to encourage mission fidelity. We have a sincere culture of belonging. We are the guardians of the rich diversity of AES. Um, but that means putting aside special agendas or special interests and making sure that um, as a board member, you are representing everyone, um, faculty and families alike. So if you are looking for an opportunity to be really involved in the school, to get to know the director, Andy, to get to know the different um, administrators and faculty and all of our um, local partners at the school who work with us so closely. Um, it's just a fantastic opportunity.